guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Runa. So today I'm going to be doing, um, as you can see, you guys can see I have a completely clean face. So, and my little cat ears. Um, so I'm trying not to keep my hair in buns anymore. That's like a new goal that I have right now. So you guys will see a lot of like brand new headbands. I went on Forever 21 and like bought a grip of new uh, fun headbands to wear while I'm filming because girl is trying not to put my hair in a bun because um, ever since I dyed my hair a little bit lighter, buns are making my hair break because I'll keep my hair in a bun for like hours. It's not good for your hair. So um, today I'm going to be doing my brow routine for you guys. I'm going to do a brow routine. I'm going to show you guys what I do with these brows. I am always in brow growth phase. I'm always growing my brows out. Um, I'm a big believer of like don't mess with your brows too much or else you'll have no brows. So I mess with my brows a very little. I will link down below who I get my brows done. I get my brows done with Brows with Sana. Um, she's over here in LA. She does my brows really good. It's threading. I love how she does my brows. But anyways, um... Before I go into doing my makeup ever, I always do a mask. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this glitter mask. It's the Gravity Mud Glitter Mask by Glam Glow. The reason why I like doing this mask is because it's clean and easy. Is uh, Put it on, let it dry, and then strip it off. And I like that. I like to keep it easy and stress-free. I really love this Gravity Musk, Mad Mud Mask. Because it like really lifts my uh, face up. I know this is not a part of the brow routine. But I kind of want to show you guys what I do before I even put my brows on. I definitely do a lot of skin prep before I go into my brows. Because brows take you a while. So it's a good time to like get products to absorb into your skin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And then I'm going to come on, peel it off. And then we're going on to my brow routine. So you all can see how I take these brows from being a regular brows to flaky brows. Be right back. Okay, guys, that was in reality like a 30-minute break. I went to go just take off the mask, and the mask took a minute to dry and actually peel off. So my skin is finally prepped and ready. So the first thing that I always do with my brows is I will always brush them out first. So I just go ahead and brush out my brows. You guys, you know, there's Instagram brows and then there's regular brows, like natural brows. I have left the Instagram brow style. You know, I was totally into that for a second, and now I'm really into just natural brows. As you can see, I'm still, like, kind of growing out my brows, so you're going to see a little bit of, you know, areas that need to get um, shaved, with, you know, areas that need to get, like, plucked out, but we're not doing that right now. We're just brushing the brows out in the direction that they need to go into. I'm going to go ahead and take my Give Me Brow by Benefit. I love the Give Me Brow because it's just going to go ahead and set my brows into place. So I'm, I like to take this and I just like to brush it into my brows just to help my brows stay in place. It's just brushing in to my brows. Just so my brows can just stay into place. And keep your gimme brow to the side because you're going to need it again. Then after I've done the gimme brow and I've brushed my brows and I kind of have them set into place, then I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Pro Pencil. This is a color corrector eyeshadow primer, but I use it mostly for my brows. This is in the shade Base 2, so you guys could see it. It's in the shade Base 2. Base 2 is for tan to medium skin tones. Um, I'm going to sharpen it. You always want to make sure you have a sharp pencil to use with your brows. I'm just using my Urban Decay sharpener. This is my favorite sharpener on the market is the Urban Decay sharpener. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shape my brows out. So I'm just going, I'm going to just like shape them out. And why I like to do this is because I can kind of create a shape already. Because if I don't do this, and like say I just go freehand with a pencil in, I'll end up making my brows either too thick or too unnatural. It's just a really good guideline. So doing this line right here is a really good guideline. And you just know where to fill in and where not to fill in. I like my end to be really sharp. So, and because I haven't, um, you know, done my brows in a while, I like to just give it a really good shape. So just going to go right here and just make that guideline. 
So what that's going to do is that's going to give you a guideline on where to shape your brows at. Lately, I've been really obsessed with Benefit cosmetic stuff. I just feel like their stuff has been really, really good. I use Anastasia brow stuff and Benefit brow stuff simultaneously. It just all depends on the certain products that I like. I just really am really into this Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I feel like it's very, very, uh, works very well on me. You always want to have a light hand with your brow pencil, so try to hold your brow pencil from the back because that's going to give you a lighter hold. And if you hold it from here, it's going to make you heavy-handed. If you're not a heavy-handed person, you can hold it from here. But if you're heavy-handed like I am, I hold it from the back. And I try to just, like make light flicks when I'm doing my brows. So as you're gonna see in my brows, this area right here is sparse, like you can see skin, so it's not a lot of hair. But if you look in this area right here, there's a lot of hair right here. So just so it can be even, I'm not gonna put too much pencil in this area at all. I'm gonna put pencil in areas where there's no hair. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you guys get what I'm saying? I hope I'm explaining it right. So as you can see like right here, I don't have a lot of hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly fill in this area. And it's just like light, tiny strokes. Just areas where there's no hair. Cause I notice if I go in the areas where I have hair, it makes my brows look really unnatural. And all you're doing is doing really short strokes. You don't wanna do super heavy strokes because a lot of the times these pencils will skip and then you'll get like a very um, harsh lined brow look. You'll almost look like you have sharpie brows. So then I also just kind of blend out my work a little bit, very lightly. Brows are all about being done very light handedly. Just to blend in the concealer to your skin. So it doesn't look crazy. You just go ahead and you want to blend in on the bottom part. So you're not like touching this area, you're touching the bottom part so it can nicely blend in to your skin. I like to still kind of elongate that eye and then right here and then I just like to basically lightly blend it all out. You as I take the powder. So I'm taking this browsing. This is the older packaging of Benefit. And I'm just gonna take this color dark and I'm just gonna lightly tap. And then I'm just gonna like night lightly like fill in this area. Cause I feel like on the end there's always like a little bit more gap to fill in. So I'm just gonna fill that in. Just gonna go over areas where there needs to be a more gap filling in. And then I'm just going to kind of, you know, go in this area, just fill in the gaps a little bit more. To finish off the brows, I'm going to go in with my 3D Brow Tone by Benefit. And I'm just going to, if you have highlights or if you have like an ombre hair to look like me, just go ahead and use this product. It's so good. Just going to go ahead and brush it into my brows all over. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit though. Okay, looks like they're done, finally. So the construction guys officially left. I can focus on us now. So anyways, you guys, this is my brow routine. There you go, that is my brows. All nice and fresh. Um, I do have a unibrow situation going on. I have to go get my brows done. I do not ever pluck my own brows because I just feel like it's too hard to pluck my own brows because I don't know my own shape that well. So I always get them professionally done by somebody that I trust. Because girl, once you start stripping away at your brows, they take a very long time to grow back in. So I do not mess with my brows like that. I always just like work with them in the best way that I can until I get a chance to go back to my brow girl. Anyway, so that is basically um, it and that's it. There's nothing else that I can. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, like and comment and share. All that helps out me with this channel. Um, also, I am on Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Those are all Glam by Runa. 
go ahead and follow me there. I also have Twitter. All of my follow accounts are down below. All my social media accounts are down below in the detail. There's also details links down below to all the products that I use in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for always supporting me. Mwah, mwah. Bye!